All right, this is the new way to add um, repositories in Karmic. And um, I guess this is going to be a standard uh, in the future too. So I really like this. I complained about this in the past because it was fucking stupid. So let me explain here. In the past, you would have to, um, you know, add the deadline and then add the key, which is fucking stupid because um, I think of it like a lock, okay? When you buy a lock, you have the lock and you have the key. You need both for it to fucking work, you know? That's what it is uh, that I was complaining. You cannot do one without the other. So right now, they actually fixed that uh, and it's great, okay? Now, this is how you would add it um, in, in Karmic here. Just copy this line right here. It says PPA and then colon and blah blah blah, right? And that's it. Just copy that, and we're gonna use that. Uh, bust out your uh, software sources, and go to where it says other software, and just add that in here. Uh, paste it, All right? Paste it. Add the source. That's pretty much it. Close it, and uh, hit reload here. Hit reload. Basically, it'll add the deadline. Uh, it'll add the the or it'll get the uh, public key. That's great. One step. You don't have to do two. Okay. Then it makes sense. Now they fix it. Great. Uh, like I said, it's only it works about like 90% of the time right now. I guess they're still trying to figure it out. You know, to tell other people to do it. But um, I like it. Now, let me see here. Uh, if you're on uh, maybe in Mint 8, uh, they probably won't have the software sources. So you can do this by terminal also. So it's almost the same thing, but uh, we're using the terminal here. And all you gotta do is type in, um, you know, sudo add uh, apt repositories, and then paste in that thing that we just copy. Okay, and just push enter. And that's pretty much it. Now all you gotta do is uh, hit the, you know, do an update. And that's pretty much it. Uh, you're done. And now you can go to your um, Synaptic and go download the, the apps that you, uh, you wanted. So let's say we we just added uh, XBMC, right? So we just go in there and check it and then uh, install it. Mark for installation, and that's pretty much it. That's how you would install stuff uh, from the you know repositories uh, that you have added. Uh, so that's an improvement that I, I'd love. I I knew I was, uh, you know, it was coming, and I, I'm happy now. <laughs> uh, but if it doesn't work, you still have to do it the old way, where you have to add the, you know, the key in. Not that hard, but you know, it's still an annoyance. Uh, and like I said, it's not like 100% yet. Uh, I tried some other repositories, and it, it still asks for the key. So I guess they're still working it out. But uh, like I say, I, li I like the change, and uh, I dig it.